You're watching News 4 Midday. This weekend, the 8th Annual Travel and Adventure Show will be held at Washington Convention Center. Among the special guests at the show, Travel Channel host Samantha Brown. And Samantha joins us this morning to talk about planning your next vacation. And welcome. Good Hello. To have you with us. Nice to be here. The cherry blossoms are yeah, out. Oh, I know. A lot sooner than a lot of people I who know. are planning to travel here later in the month. We get a little nervous, don't we, with the yeah, cherry blossoms? We've only got like two weeks. Right? Very, very special for us here, especially mm -hmm. for bringing in tourists. Right. Well, you, you travel 200 days of the year, is that right? Uh, over, 230. Oh, yes, wow, that's yes. a lot. Well, where was your last adventure? Um, actually, I went to Germany, a northern Germany, to see where cruise ships are made. And it's, it's a wonderful oh. place, very cold, but it's pretty incredible to see the cruise ships we usually see cruising the Caribbean seawaters right. being made in 10 degree weather in Germany. So I hope it's on the coast. They don't have to truck those off. It to the is. Ocean well, somewhere, but, but they leave and then they go to New York. So, oh, yeah? yeah, so it's wow. pretty amazing. Amazing. So, um, what uh, should people know about traveling this summer? I know we've got some economic issues, but yeah. anything you want to tell us about that? Well, I think if you're booking trips to Europe, you want to start looking at the prices now. Uh, one of the best times to start looking for summer travel is we're coming to that. People are really thinking about spring travel, but you really should start to think about where you're going in the summer so you can sign up for deal alerts uh, through your email and find out when the lowest price is, when the um, airline tickets are being sold, how much they're being sold for so you can see what's in, what fits your budget and when you should buy. Now with gas prices going up, that's going to affect not just travel right. on the ground in your car, but also airline tickets will may cost more later. Absolutely, and there's going to be less uh, airlines flying less flights, so there are going to be fewer seats to accommodate for those gas prices going up. So again, start looking at travel now. If you see a price you can afford, book it. It seems like there are not as many um, uh, seats that come with uh, your miles, mileage seats out there. Right, right. I mean, if you are a mileage plus member or you have any sort of priority status, it still is pretty difficult because, again, there's just fewer flights. That's yeah. how the, uh, the airlines are accommodating for the higher fuel prices. So I guess for those, you've got to plan even a year ahead, I guess. Huh? You know, I think that's a little too far to, to book air travel. But, you know, again, with email alerts and social media and Twitter and Facebook, you can get on all the major airlines' uh, social media pages and find out exactly when they have the lowest fare deals and you can book so it actually becomes a little easier to book travel. Do you have a favorite uh, place on the internet to go for your tickets? I go to airfarewatchdog.org and then I put in my my airline that I leave, I'm sorry, my the airport that I leave from and then every week I'm given alerts of the cheapest places that uh, to travel to from my airport. So I basically work backwards. If I'm trying to plan a trip to maybe Jamaica, but hey, Puerto Rico is actually only $250, I want to go to Puerto Rico. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. Uh, so any place you've never been that oh, you'd like to go? I know so you've been many. just about everywhere. Yeah, huh? so many places. I've never been to India, and that oh. is the number one place I would love to travel to, India. Well, you can't Big be sure about too. that. Big place, too. A lot of folks are going there these days. Yes, absolutely. It's great so, travel. It's, you know, it's expensive to get there, but once you're there, it's pretty inexpensive. Um, uh, what can people expect uh, at the travel show that's coming up this weekend? So, well, it's called Travel and Adventure Show, and there's a lot of adventure. Uh, there's a zip line, there's a hang gliding uh, simulator, there's a scuba tank, so there's a lot of hands-on fun, as well as actually just meeting places that you might want to go on your next vacation to. These are some Irish dancers, there's cultural dance, Brazilian dancers, African dance, so it's a great place for families. I know we all get so tired of searching for travel online, hours and hours. It doesn't inspire you. Places like this, you can actually talk to people from the country, uh, people that run the tourism and they're going to be able to answer your questions about where you should go next. Tell us a little about your show on the Travel Channel. Oh, I have many actually. <laughs> uh, I go all over and basically it is to show you not just things that are uh, the main things to do, but also what's off the beaten path that you might want to try. What's more of a local perspective so you can really get a sense of what everyday life is like in these wonderful places around the world. And do you come up with all the ideas? Of where all to go? of them. No, I don't. No, <laughs> I, I have some help in that, in that direction, but uh, absolutely. We have a lot of help and a lot of enthusiastic people who want to know about travel. Well, you should be able to get India in there then. If I you hope so. Get to make yes. your own suggestions <laughs> sometimes. Thanks so much, Samantha, for coming in. Thank it's you. It's great to meet you. You know, you've got a lot of fans around here. <laughs> Thanks. And let me remind people that the Travel and Adventure Show will be at the Washington Convention Center on Saturday from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. and Sunday from 11 a.m. until 4 p.m. Again, thank you, Samantha Brown. It's now 11.26 and coming up in the next half hour.